Hello, I'm David with Barely a Farm. The camera's really crooked on the tripod. I wonder if that's going to show up in the video. Anyways, I got several of these trailers, and everything's got different balls and hitches and whatever. Well, this one I used with a modified pinnel hitch, and it got totally bent a doodled up, as you can see. How long do you think that that been on there? It was like a 1950s chassis. So even if the truck was 20 years old in the 60s or the 70s, nah, maybe they still had square bolts laying around back then, I don't know. Let's get you over here and get you a little bit closer. That's what it sounds like in my head when I move that. I'm just going to utilize this. Um, this one's an easy one. It uh, I've learned to always get bolts longer than what you think you need. Now three and a half is too short. Half inch grade eight hardware. I even ordered some extra stuff for this.
I don't think that's going to work the way I planned on doing it. That's going to be close. We'll have to get her hooked up and see if it actually fits. <clears throat> so we got that trailer down to a two inch. My red trailer, the junk trailer, that's a two inch. And this leaves this one. At least we'll get all three of these down to two inches. I'm going to put a spacer in here.
go ahead and bear down on that. <coughs> this had the trailer or the wagon tongue. And I put a spacer between there to pinch the two tongue parts together. I may actually run a bead of weld on this one. I don't know. Well, at least that gets it movable with the truck. I'll get this up to the shop here in the near future and drill a hole through there, put another bolt in there to hold it. So at least that gets it to where it's more easily movable. I'm getting tired of changing hitches. It seems like I'm doing it a lot. Hmm. Fit really well. I'm actually pretty impressed. Didn't have to do any cutting on that. Anyways, like I say, not much going on these days. Trying to get some of the smaller projects knocked out before it gets cold. Uh, what are we, November or October 30th right now, I think. 29th the 30th right around in there and it's supposed to be nice the next for the next week or so so if I can get a bunch of this little stuff knocked out I've probably got one more mow to do with the yard I'll try to get that knocked out this weekend and then winter's here you know it's knocking on our doors so I still have to move around some equipment so much to do this time of year there really is it's almost like spring but I'm glad. The humidity's down. It's it's windy. I'm sure you can hear that in the camera. But it is nice and comfortable and feels good. Really, really is quite beautiful out here this time of year. Anyways, I'm David with Barely a Farm. I appreciate those that have watched this and I want to thank all my subscribers. If you're new, feel free to give me a like, maybe a subscribe, possibly a comment. I got people watching, but not much commenting going on. Uh, if you see a problem with the way I did any of this or if you did it differently, let me know. You know, it was just one quick way for me to get three of my four trailers all with the same style hitch on it. You know, a two-inch ball. Uh, the red trailer is still a little bit lower hitch, like an eight-inch drop. Hazel, I'll be able to use a three-inch drop. So, it's not 100% perfect, but it's way better than it was. Anyways, you guys be good and be safe, and we'll catch you next time.